everyone, this is Gabrielle. Welcome back to my channel, Perseverance Road. For all of my perseverers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your love and your support. For all of my newcomers, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel, please. So, um, today I am making a video about why I went vegan. I've been getting like a lot of questions. Um, a lot of people have been asking me why I went vegan and how I went vegan. Why I went vegan and how I went vegan are two totally different things. Um, so I'm going to make two totally different videos. This video is the why video and then I'll make a how video. So um, this video, I'll be sharing my story with you. I'll be breaking the ice for those of you who don't know me, who don't know my story or whatever that led me into veganism. I will go ahead and share that with you. Um, so growing up, I've always, I was always a big girl. Um, I was born into a family that loved to cook and loved to eat. Um, we would make things like macaroni and cheese, fried chicken, collard greens, sweet potato pie. We love soul food. We just, I came from a family that loves to eat. And during any Thanksgiving or any holiday or whatever, you would be able to see that. Like my family just loves to eat. So I grew up like that. Um, when I was in elementary school, there was a corner store across the street from my elementary school. So what I would do after I got dropped off, I would leave school. And my parents, this was against my parents' knowledge. I would leave school. I would go to that corner store and I would buy boxes of like, uh, Debbie cakes, um, bags of chips, things like that, and I would put it in my book bag and I would eat these things throughout the day, throughout the week. And being a little girl doing that, it was unconscious. I, I didn't give it any thought, but that is how I was, you know, living my life. I was eating like that. My weight didn't start to take its effect on me until I got to high school. Um, when I was in high school, what I would do is pretty much the same thing, but now I'm 15. I would go to the corner store. I loved corner stores. And I would go, and what I would do, I would purchase two jumbo honey buns. This was a time that the honey buns were two for a dollar. So I would buy um, two jumbo honey buns, a few bags of chips, and like a pop. So I was doing this before school and after school. So I was eating all that food and I was also eating my dinner and my lunch and stuff, you know, throughout the day. So by the time the day was over, I had consumed four jumbo honey buns, pop, juice, chips, my dinner, which included a meat, a starch, a vegetable, things like that. So I was eating out of control. I was eating like just crazy. By this time, I'm obese. Um, I'm going through high school being obese. I'm going through high school when running up and down a flight of stairs should be nothing to me. I'm opting for the elevator. I'm taking my time. At the age of 15, 16, I was very miserable um, because I was severely overweight. My parents did what they could, which was, you know, ask before you go at anything or whatever, but that didn't have any type of effect on me, really. I ate what I wanted to eat when I wanted to eat it. And um, I just began to develop and live a life of obesity. I was sitting in class one day and um, I was among some students and we were all talking. I was in ninth grade, I was 15. And somebody was like, your eye is going cross. So I'm like, what, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, let me see. Like, we think your eye is going cross. I'm like, what, what are y'all talking about? And so, I look at them or whatever, they're like, yeah, your eyes going cross. So I went to the teacher, the teacher sent me to the nurse. From the nurse, I was rushed to the hospital. My parents were called and I had developed something called pseudocerebral tumor. What this is, is a false tumor that, that develops in the body of overweight teenage girls. So the fluid on the, op on it was fluid in my body that pushed up on my optic nerve in my eye and it made my eye go cross. And so because of that, I had to get an emergency lumbar puncture where I had to get 23 cc's of fluid drained off of my lower back. At the age of 15, I had to get a lumbar puncture. Um, so after that, 
my parents made the change as best they could, you know, going to Mark's, going to Whole Foods, buying fruits, vegetables, and stuff like that. But shortly after, I still continued on with my eating. At this time, I am battling with my weight. I'm trying everything. I didn't get the 50 million pound challenge that came out back in like 2011. I did the Atkins diet, the Daniels fast. I was doing everything. I went vegetarian for 75 days and came off. I was doing like everything. And um, I was obese. I was tired and I was miserable. And so from there, I continued on with my eating. I graduated um, high school in 2012, um, weighing 260 pounds at the age of 18 on a 5'6 body frame. I went to college um, from August of 2016 to November of 2006. I mean, not 2016, 2012. I went to college in 2012. From August of 2012 to November of 2012, I gained a total of 60 pounds. So how people say the freshman 15, 20, I did the freshman 60. So needless to say, my weight, my obesity, my dark side, the stuff that I wasn't dealing with was coming to the surface rapidly. So I went from 260 pounds to 330 pounds at the age of 19. This was the biggest that I had ever gotten. And I went home during November and um, for Thanksgiving break and I saw it and I felt it. At this time in my life, it's I'm just miserable. I'm eating whatever I wanted to eat. I'm not happy. I have an odor that follows and lingers behind me everywhere I go. And having roommates, that's not something you want to be considered as the roommate with the odor. But I was the roommate with the odor because I was overweight. Um, and that's one of the things that transpired from my obesity. I had a heavily irregular menstrual cycle, so I would menstruate during March, and I wouldn't see one again for months. I had severe migraines. I was depressed. I was ending good friendships prematurely, being friends with the wrong people. I was suffering in every area of my life, and it all was because of what I was eating. When I was happy, I would eat. When I was sad and depressed, I would really eat. And... um. I ate just terribly. I would go to the store. I would go to the gas station across the street from my school and I would just pick out and eat whatever I wanted to eat. And from these things, I developed all of these illnesses, headaches, um, you know, the migraines, the lower back pain, um, not having a menstrual cycle as a woman was a big deal to me. Um, so I was suffering from all of these things. And I would go to the doctor and I was going to one of the be supposedly the best hospitals in the world. And all the doctors would tell me is, it's your weight, it's your weight, it's your weight. There was nothing that could be done for me because doctors had wrote me off and they told me, this is your weight. You have to lose weight. And so um, at this point in time, I had turned to alcohol. And this was probably, well, this was the lowest and the darkest that I've ever gotten in my life. You know, I was depressed. I had all these bodily ailments that I was dealing with. I was smiling on the outside. Everybody thought that I was okay. But on the inside, I was fat, 330 pounds, smelly, just miserable. I was unhappy. I was just, just, I was just miserable. Um... So one day I went to the store and at this time now, you know, being in college, I'm drinking alcohol excessively. So one day I went to the store and um, I bought a bottle of Tiny Port. Tiny Port has a 21% alcohol rate. I drank the entire bottle. I was supposed, it was red wine. Um, I was supposed to have just about a glass or two, but I ended up having the entire bottle. And after I had the entire bottle, I, I, I literally thought I was going to die in my room. I was in my room with the door closed, drink, and I drank an entire bottle of tiny pork. And nobody knew, and I was sprawled out on the floor, and the way I felt, I couldn't get to the door if I wanted to. And I that night, I literally thought I was going to die. And I was cr crying and praying and crying and praying, and I'm just like, God... 
you know, I'm miserable. Like, I'm miserable. I just, I'm having all of these issues with my body. The doctors are telling me I'm facing infertility rates. Um, I'm just going through everything, and I was really miserable. And so I'm just like, God, you know, I don't know, you know, what I'm going to do. I'm having a talk with God. I'm having a talk with myself. I'm just like, I'm done. I'm just, I was at my end. I just felt terrible. And I got up somehow and went to my bed, laid in my bed, and I vomited all in my bed, threw up all in my bed, and I just passed out in my bed. Woke up the next morning feeling really, really crappy. So I went downstairs in my kitchen, and of course, I was going for my food at 330 pounds. You know, I had just suffered from a hangover, so I'm going to my food. I need to make me some potatoes or whatever, and you know, just do my thing. I need to eat. And so, you know, in the kitchen, you know, God was like, how are, how are you going to be like me and not eat my food? You can't be like me. You can't. You can't walk in your power. You can't walk in your purpose. You can't, you know, you can't be happy. You can't be free eating how you're eating. You know, if you want healing, if you want help, if you want to feel different, if you want to change your life, you got to eat my food. You can't not, not, you can't not eat from me and then think everything is going to be okay. And so um, I was getting ready to cook and God was like, you know, eat a grapefruit. And I hated grapefruits. But one thing about me is that with my shopping, I would buy like my donuts, my cookies, my cake, my pies or whatever. But I would always buy like a bag or two of fruit. It would always sit there and rot because I wasn't eating it. But I always kept fruit on me. Um, and so I went into my refrigerator. I got the grapefruit. I cut it open and I bit into it and I just like destroyed that grapefruit over that. I stood over the sink sick hung over and I just destroyed that grapefruit and for the first time it's like I felt myself breathing I just felt alive and I just felt so good and after that I went vegetarian this was August of 2016 I went vegetarian um and I, you know, drunk my green juices. I studied vegetarianism. I started studying veganism and what it was to be a vegan and how I should eat and things like that. So from August of 2016 until July of 2017, this year, I was completely vegetarian off of all meat and things like that. How I went vegetarian, I just gave up one animal at a time and that's what I did. So, um, um, July of this year, and so from being vegetarian, just from August of 2016 and July of, to July of 2017, being vegetarian, going off meat, um, leaving, you know, sugar alone, just, you know, being conscious about what I put in my body, I lost 60 pounds, um, incorporated with workout also. And of July of 2017 of this year, I started practicing how to be, you know, a vegan excluding dairy um and it's not so much about giving things up a lot of people think that you're giving something up i don't give up anything i just replace it and that's the beauty of you know healthy eating you're just replacing it with healthier alternatives and so um i went vegan uh in july of this year and i lost 18 pounds just in one month from being vegan and from a certain style of eating and things like that which is what i'll talk about in my next video and that's why I went vegan. When I went vegan, my migraine stopped. I menstruate every month regularly. I can never say regular. Regularly, I menstruate every month like clockwork, which is very important to me because I aspire to have children one day. Um, I don't have an odor. I smell good, actually. <laughs> I smell good. I feel good. Um, I get compliments on how I smell. I'm like, whoo, that wasn't the case, you know, some years ago. That wasn't the case some time ago. You know, you had to hold your nose. Now you're breathing in the aroma. Like, whoo. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I, I am completely healing myself from the inside out just from what I put in my body. You know, and that's why I went vegan. Man food is full of chemicals 
toxins and hormones that are displeasing and that makes the back body imbalanced. And I had a heavy, heavy imbalance going on in my body. And so I just decided to heal myself from the inside out. And I couldn't feel better. I feel happy. I feel free. I feel alive. I, I, I can't describe how I feel. So I went vegan because I was overweight. I was obese. I was sick. And I was slowly down spiraling because I wasn't facing myself. And now with me working on myself, changing how I eat, and not eating when I'm depressed, you know, and, and, and just working on myself on a day-to-day -day basis, I feel a whole lot better. So that's why I went vegan. No more migraines. I have a period. Um, and I feel good, y'all. Like, I feel so happy and I just feel free. And every day throughout all my social media pages, I just aspire to inspire individuals all over the world that is battling, battling and dealing with their weight to let you all know that this is an everyday journey. And so going vegan, I went vegan for healing purposes, not just for weight loss, but for healing purposes. Being vegan, going green has healed myself internally from the inside out. And that's all I have to say. So I hope this video inspires someone and encourages someone. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching this video. Comment on this video, share this video, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. This has been Gabrielle from Perseverance Road. The race is never given to the swift.